Hello, my name is Martin Roberts and I'm one of the curators at the Herbert Art Gallery and Museum. In this video I'm going to be talking about how we have used audio descriptions to make artworks and other exhibits accessible to blind and partially sighted visitors. An audio description is a detailed description of an artwork or artefact delivered verbally which helps a blind or partially sighted person to picture an exhibit. The description can be delivered in different ways, for example as a recording on an audio guide which can be picked up and carried around the gallery, through a fixed listening post next to an exhibit, or by a member of staff as part of a live tour. Herbert staff received training in audio descriptions from an organisation called Vocalize, a charity which supports blind and partially sighted people to access arts and heritage. You can find out more about them through their website vocalize.co.uk. Training was given to a range of museum staff, including curators, learning officers and front of house. The idea was that front of house staff could deliver on the spot audio descriptions to any blind or partially sighted visitor who wanted this. Curators and learning officers offered organised guided tours for groups of blind and partially sighted people. When delivering an audio description tour to a group, we would usually start by describing the room, so they have an idea of their surroundings and can orientate themselves in the space. This room contains a display of paintings from the museum's collection. They are all by British and European artists and date from the 1500s to the 1900s. This is an extract from an audio description of this room. Welcome to the Herbert's Old Masters Gallery. This gallery includes paintings from the Herbert's collection which date from the 1500s to the 1900s. This is a fairly small square room with only one doorway. There is a level vinyl floor and the light levels are quite low, mainly to protect the paintings which can be damaged by bright light. The walls are painted a greenish blue and they are hung with oil paintings. The paintings are hung quite close together and at different heights covering the walls to replicate the way paintings were hung in stately homes and public galleries in the 18th and 19th centuries. There is a rope barrier running along each side of the room, approximately one metre or three feet from the wall to protect the paintings. There is also a low bench in the centre of the room. It's also helpful to point out any additional aids that are available for blind and partially sighted visitors, such as an audio guide or large print version of the label text. This is our large print guide for the paintings on show in this room. We've created audio descriptions for a number of the paintings on display. These have been written up so they can be used by different members of staff in different circumstances. We're now going to listen to an extract from an audio description for this painting of King George III by Thomas Lawrence. This is a very large oil painting, about three metres high by two metres wide. It almost fills the wall from floor to ceiling. It has an ornate gold frame which is about 30 centimetres wide. In the centre of the frame, at the bottom of the painting, is the title, George III. The painting is a portrait of King George III. The king is shown full length, standing in the centre of the picture. His is a very imposing, life-size figure. He is facing us, but his face is turned slightly to his left. He is wearing the clothing and regalia of the Order of the Garter, which is the highest order of chivalry in England and was founded by King Edward III in the 1300s. If an object can be handled, such as a sculpture, it can also help to give people the opportunity to touch it. Not all artefacts are suitable to use in this way uh, due to conservation or health and safety issues, but where appropriate, this kind of tactile experience can help to give an understanding of weight, texture and shape, and can be an effective addition to the experience of listening to an audio description.